It is time to tip it off for our digital highlight. Texas at 10 and 2 taking on the visiting Rice Owls at 5 and 6. Paul Sunderland with Reed Geddes. And Rice was in the game early, known as an outside shooting team. But when they turn cold after rare misses like this, Texas took full control, went out to a comfortable lead in the first half. Uh, hit their first two three pointers in the first half, then didn't make another one. Two for 14 in the first half. Second half, not any better. Four for 15, and really the perimeter defense of the Longhorns set the tone to this game. And with the size, the likes of Jonathan Holmes, Cameron Ridley, Prince Ebay, Connor Lambert, Rice needed to play on the perimeter, be efficient there. They were not, but Texas was very good at the offensive and defensive end, and at times they were very unselfish. Now plus 20 points in the paint, plus 13 rebounds, plus 20 free throws made. All yeah. kind of toughness statistics, which Texas dominated. And another really good sign for the University of Texas. Cameron Ridley, about a 55% career free throw shooter. 7 of 10 against Michigan State. He goes 6 of 7 on the afternoon against Rice. Really the only bad part of Cameron Ridley's game. He only had one rebound, but he continues to improve every time we see the young fella step onto the court. Jonathan, going into this big game against Oklahoma, are you guys where you're at, where you think that you would be at heading into conference play? Yeah, I think so. I think we uh, we have a lot to work on, but I think we we've, we've grown up as a team this, this so far this year, and we're gonna uh, be ready for Big 12 play. What's the biggest ways that you feel like you lead this team as as you head into a big game against Oklahoma? So the biggest way I can lead? Yep. Just uh, being assertive uh, on defense and bringing the energy every game and every every day in practice, and uh, just uh, helping the guys when they have questions, just trying to lead that way too. What do you guys know about Oklahoma and what are you anticipating? They, they, they score a lot of points. I think they lead the nation in scoring right now. They have a lot of weapons, so it's going to be a be a tough game. We always play them tough, and it's going to be a it's going to be a hard fought game. Probably come down to the last four minutes. You have some young guards playing out there, and they're playing really big. What's going to be your message to them come game time? Just keep it up. I mean, don't do anything we have, you haven't done all year. I mean, it's it's just another game. Even though it's a, a, a big name school, we just got to do what we've done all year, and I think we'll be all right. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Coach, what are the key takeaways from tonight's game as you head into a big game against Oklahoma? Well, again, I really was happy with the fact that we really did put the ball inside, and I thought for the most part our post guys really fought for their space inside, and there were some good post feeds. We've got to get to a point where we know when a guy really wants it and when he doesn't have position to get it. And uh, But overall, again, defensively, we wanted to work on really trying to guard the three-point line. We did a decent job, even though they had a couple looks they missed. But really happy for Martez Walker. I thought he really did some good things. And uh, Cam stepped up. He's getting more comfortable at the free throw line. We were wanting to get to the free throw line earlier to try to give our guys a chance to shoot more free throws. And uh, But, you know, they did a good job not putting us there. And uh, But overall, there were some good things from it. Now in a different sport, Mac Brown, last game coaching for Texas. What are your thoughts on his tenure in tonight's game? Well, I hope they play great today. And I hope that it's a, a great way for, for Mac to go out. And uh, I, I love to see her obviously get a win. And I think it'd be a great win with all the problems he's had to deal with with injuries and not really having a full deck all year. I, I think it'd be an unbelievable just unbelievable and I love to see it happen and we all love Mac and we, we talk about what he's done for not only football but for this university and for each one of our sports and uh, he's a dear friend and uh, I love him and uh, uh, again I think he'll go down as one of the all-time greats. All right thanks coach. All right thank you.